U.S. participation in research that would create human-animal hybrids. Hey, welcome to a new video. Sometimes, nature takes an unexpected turn. In today's video, we're uncovering the stories behind some of the most bizarre crossbred and hybrid animals ever discovered. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, like the video. On the back of this animal in the shape of a human ear. 20. Koi Wolf The Koi Wolf is a fascinating and debatable hybrid that has emerged as a result of interbreeding between coyotes and gray wolves. Found predominantly in North America, particularly in the eastern parts of the continent, the koi wolf is a prime example of how adaptable and dynamic nature can be in response to changing environments. Koi wolves are not a single homogeneous population, but rather a spectrum of hybrids with varying degrees of coyote and wolf ancestry. This unique combination has led to the development of a creature that displays characteristics of both parent species, blending the coyote's adaptability and urban tolerance with the wolf's larger size and hunting prowess. The interbreeding of coyotes and wolves began as a result of human activities that altered natural habitats. <coughs> Deforestation and urban expansion have driven the coyote and wolf populations to overlap, facilitating opportunities for interbreeding. This hybridization has enabled the resulting koi wolves to thrive in environments where neither pure coyotes nor pure wolves could succeed. Koi wolves are typically larger than pure coyotes. Their fur coloration can vary, but often leans towards gray or brown, resembling that of wolves. They also tend to possess a mix of behavioral traits. Like coyotes, they are remarkably adaptable to urban and suburban landscapes, allowing them to flourish even in highly developed areas. This adaptability, combined with their keen hunting skills inherited from wolves, has led to the koi wolf's success in regions where other predators struggle to coexist with humans. One notable trait of koi wolves is their vocalizations. They possess a unique howl that distinguishes them from both coyotes and wolves, allowing them to communicate effectively within their hybrid communities. This vocalization has led to their classification as a distinct entity, separate from both pure coyotes and pure wolves. The presence of koi wolves has sparked debates among ecologists, researchers, and the public. Some view them as the natural response to changing ecosystems, a testament to the adaptability of wildlife in the face of human-induced alterations. Others, however, express concern over potential ecological consequences, particularly with regards to the potential impact on smaller prey species or on the genetic purity of the pure wolf populations. As the koi wolf's range continues to expand, ongoing research seeks to understand the implications of their presence in various ecosystems. Some experts believe that the genetic infusion from wolves has enhanced the koi wolf's ability to manage deer populations, exerting a positive influence on forest regeneration in certain areas. Others suggest that their presence might help mitigate conflicts between humans and more strictly territorial coyotes. 19. Attempt to breed cats and rabbits the concept of breeding cats and rabbits, often referred to as cabots, has captured the imagination of many due to its intriguing and whimsical nature. However, it's important to note that there is no concrete scientific evidence to support the existence of true cabots. The idea seems to have originated from folklore, urban legends, and creative imagination rather than actual breeding experiments. The concept of cabots has been perpetuated through various mediums, including online discussions, fiction, and illustrations. Despite the lack of any credible documentation, the idea of combining the features of two beloved and distinct animals has fueled curiosity and fascination. Reports of successful cabot breeding have circulated in various forms, but these claims have typically been debunked as hoaxes or misinterpretations of actual hybrid animals. While cats and rabbits belong to different families of mammals with distinct genetics, the notion of combining their traits remains a fantastical idea rather than a scientifically achievable goal. The confusion may arise from the occasional occurrence of physical characteristics that might appear similar to what people imagine cabots to be. For example, genetic mutations in cats or rabbits might lead to unusual fur patterns, body shapes, or ear lengths that could resemble a hybrid. However, these instances are typically the result of natural genetic variation rather than deliberate crossbreeding experiments. 18. Humanzee The humanzee is a hypothetical hybrid of a human and a chimpanzee. The concept of a humanzee has been around for a long time, 
with the possibility of hybrids between humans and other apes being entertained since at least the medieval period. Serious attempts to create such a hybrid were made by Soviet biologist Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov in the 1920s and possibly by researchers in China in the 1960s, though neither succeeded. In the 1920s, Ivanov carried out a series of experiments in which he attempted to create a human-ape hybrid by artificially inseminating female chimpanzees with human sperm. However, these attempts were unsuccessful, and no human Z was ever born. There have also been claims that researchers in Florida succeeded in breeding a human-chimp hybrid called a human Z in disputable, long-rumored 1920s research. However, there is little evidence to support these claims, and many scientists consider them to be unlikely. 17. Blood Parrot Cichlid the blood parrot cichlid, often simply referred to as the blood parrot, is a fish species with a reputation that sparks significant debates and divides opinions within the aquarium trade. Its uniqueness lies not only in its striking appearance, but also in the ethical and welfare concerns it raises. The blood parrot cichlid is a result of crossbreeding different cichlid species with the aim of creating a visually distinct and marketable fish. However, the methods used to create this mixed breed, as well as the physical and health implications it faces, have led to significant ethical debates within the aquarist community. The blood parrot cichlid is characterized by its round body shape, beak-like mouth, and vibrant colors, which can range from bright orange to red. Its appearance is the result of crossing various cichlid species and sometimes even physically altering the fish through questionable practices. One of the primary reasons for the controversy surrounding blood parrot cichlids is the ethical dilemma of altering animals for aesthetic purposes. The practice of selectively breeding and sometimes deforming fish purely for their appearance has been criticized for prioritizing human preferences over the well-being of animals. The deformities can lead to health problems, including difficulty eating and increased susceptibility to diseases, which raises concerns about the quality of life for these fish. Additionally, the creation of crossbred species like the blood parrot cichlid can contribute to issues related to invasive species and biodiversity. Introducing crossbred species into natural ecosystems could potentially disrupt local ecosystems and harm native species. Despite the ongoing ethical debate, blood parrot cichlids remain popular in the aquarium trade due to their unique appearance and vibrant colors. Some aquarists argue that responsible breeding practices can minimize the negative effects of the fish's health and well-being. 16. Pigeon Dove The pigeon dove, often referred to as pigeon dove or dove pigeon, is an intriguing and relatively rare phenomenon in the avian world. Pigeons and doves belong to the same family, Columbidae, and share many similarities, making crossbreeding between them possible. These creatures exhibit a blend of characteristics from both parent species, creating a unique and sometimes visually striking bird. Interbreeding between pigeons and doves can occur due to their genetic similarity and geographic overlap. Pigeons and doves are both members of the same family, and their genetic compatibility allows for interbreeding under certain circumstances. However, the successful occurrence of this phenomenon depends on factors such as geographical proximity, timing, and individual compatibility. The resulting mixed breed birds often display a mix of physical traits from both parent species. Their size, coloration, plumage patterns, and beak shapes can vary, reflecting the diversity within the Columbidae family. Some birds may exhibit colors and patterns not commonly seen in either parent species, adding to their uniqueness. One notable example of a pigeon dove is the dove coat pigeon, which is a mix between the common pigeon and the Eurasian colored dove. These mixed breeds are often observed in urban environments where both parent species coexist. They may display a mix of characteristics, such as the colored dove's distinctive markings and the pigeon's more robust build. The pigeon doves raise intriguing questions about taxonomy and classification. While scientists typically categorize species based on distinct characteristics and evolutionary history, interbred specimens challenge these boundaries by demonstrating the fluidity of genetic exchange within related species. 15. Pig-Human-Baby Hoax In 2018, a story about a pig giving birth to a human-like baby went viral creating a buzz across social media platforms. A video and pictures were being circulated widely online with the news that a pig gave birth to a baby that looked like a human being. The bizarre nature of the news, along with the photo, made it a classic viral content and people started sharing it, even on WhatsApp. Some versions of the fake news claimed that the baby died soon after delivery. However, it was later discovered that the story was a hoax. The truth behind the images and videos is that it is not a living creature, but a model made of rubber and silicone by a famous Italian artist, Lara Maganuco. The origin of the images is from his Etsy store, and the video of the hybrid pig baby was from his Instagram account. 
14. Blinx, Bobcat and Lynx With the real-world creation of ligers by breeding lions and tigers, some rumors online have emerged about an animal called a blinx. However, the term blinx does not refer to a recognized or scientifically documented species or hybrid in the animal kingdom. Instead, it appears to be a conceptual creation or a resulting fictional storytelling rather than an actual organism. The term blinx seems to be a combination of bobcat and lynx, which are two distinct species of wild cats. Bobcats and lynxes are both members of the Felidae family, but they belong to different genera and have distinct physical and behavioral traits. Bobcats are medium-sized wildcats, native to North America. They are known for their tufted ears, short tails, and distinctive spotted or streaked fur patterns. Bobcats are adaptable predators that inhabit a wide range of habitats, from forests to deserts, and they are skilled hunters of small mammals. Lynxes, on the other hand, belong to the genus Lynx, and include various species such as the Eurasian lynx and the Canada lynx. Lynxes are categorized by their tufted ears, long legs, and large padded paws. They are known for their ability to hunt snowshoe hares in cold northern regions. The concept of a blinx could potentially arise from creative speculation or artistic endeavors that seek to combine the features of these two distinct wildcat species. Such combinations often occur in fictional literature, art, or online discussions, where enthusiasts and artists create imaginative creatures by merging traits from different animals. While the crossbreeding of lynxes and bobcats is not possible at this time, who's to say it won't be possible in the future? 13. Attempt to breed caracals and servals Breeding servals and caracals is a concept that falls within the realm of hybridization between different wildcat species. Servals and caracals are both medium-sized African wildcats with distinct characteristics, and the idea of crossing them has led to speculation and discussion in the realm of exotic animal breeding. However, there is limited scientific information about the actual success of such hybridization, and many claims may be speculative or unsupported. Servals are known for their distinctive appearance, characterized by their large ears, spotted coat, and long legs. They inhabit various African regions, including grasslands and wetlands, and are known for their hunting prowess and ability to catch small prey. Caracals have unique tufted ears and are renowned for their agility and jumping ability. They are found across Africa, the Middle East, and parts of Asia, and are known for their ability to take down larger prey with impressive speed and precision. The idea of breeding servals and caracals likely stems for the interest in creating unique and visually striking animals, often referred to as exotic hybrids. These hybrids are sought after by some enthusiasts in the exotic pet trade due to their distinctive appearances, which can include combinations of traits from both parent species. However, the successful hybridization between servals and caracals is debated and often met with skepticism and the scientific community. Hybrids between different species can occur under certain circumstances, but they are not always viable, and the offspring may face various health and developmental challenges. While some claims of cerebral caracal hybrids exist, it's important to critically assess the reliability of such claims and consider the ethical implications of breeding animals with distinct natural behaviors and ecological roles. Breeding hybrids of wildcats can raise concerns about their well-being, potential for suffering, and impact on the conservation of their parent species. 12. Pizzly Bear Pizzly bears, also known as growler bears or nanolacs, are a result of hybridization between polar bears and grizzly bears. These hybrids have gained attention due to their unique appearance and the potential implications of their existence in a changing climate. The hybridization of the polar bears and grizzly bears is believed to be facilitated by the shrinking of Arctic sea ice, which has led to increased interactions between the two species as they venture into each other's territories in search of food and suitable habitats. Pizzly bears typically display a mix of physical characteristics from both parent species. They might have the creamy white fur of a polar bear combined with the hump and facial features of a grizzly bear. Their size and coloration can vary widely, reflecting the genetic diversity within both the polar and grizzly bear populations. The existence of pizzly bears raises questions about the potential ecological and conservation implications of hybridization. Some experts argue that these hybrids could be an indicator of climate change and habitat loss, as the shrinking sea ice forces polar bears to travel farther inland in search of food. This increased overlap with grizzly bear territory could facilitate more opportunities for hybridization. However, there are concerns about long-term viability of pizzly bears. Hybrids might face challenges related to their adaptations to specific habitats and diets. For example, polar bears are highly specialized for hunting seals on ice, while grizzly bears are more adapted to terrestrial habitats and diets. The hybrid's ability to thrive in either environment might be compromised. 
The study of paisley bears also underscores the complexity of species interactions and adaptations in response to changing environments. As climate change continues to impact ecosystems, the dynamics between different species and their ability to adapt and hybridize might become more prevalent. In the context of conservation, paisley bears present challenges for species management and protection efforts. Conservation policies may need to address the genetic integrity of both polar bear and grizzly bear populations, as well as the potential ecological consequences of hybridization. 11. Mutti the Hybrid Elephant Mutti, a unique elephant calf born on July 11, 1978, holds a special place in the annals of zoology as the only confirmed offspring of an Asian and an African elephant. His birthplace was Chester Zoo, where his parents, Sheba, Asian, and Jambolini, African, resided. The calf was named in honor of George Muttershead, the founder of Chester Zoo. Mutti's physical attributes were a fascinating blend of his parent species. His head and ears resembled those of an African elephant, while his toenail count was characteristic of an Asian elephant. His trunk exhibited features of both species. The length was akin to an African elephant's, but it had a single finger-like appendage at the tip, typical of Asian elephants. Unfortunately, Muddy's life was tragically cut short. Born prematurely, he weighed 60 pounds less than expected. Despite receiving dedicated care, he succumbed to an infection in his umbilical cord just 10 days after his birth. Today, Mori's preserved body is on display at the Natural History Museum in London. His existence as a hybrid of two different species of elephant genera, Asian and African, is a testament to their shared chromosomal account, which allows for interbreeding. Mori's life, albeit brief, has contributed significantly to our understanding of elephant biology and evolution. 10. Yakalo the yakalo is a cross between a yak and an American bison. It was produced by hybridization experiments in the 1920s, when crosses were made between yak bulls and both pure bison cows and bison cattle hybrid cows. Unfortunately, few of the hybrids survived, and the experiments were discontinued in 1928. As with many other interspecific crosses, only female hybrids were found to be fertile. This phenomenon is known as Haldane's Rule, which states that if in the offspring of two different animal species, one sex is absent, rare, or sterile, that sex is the heterogametic sex. The heterogametic sex is the sex that has two different sex chromosomes, such as males in mammals, XY, and females in birds, ZW. Haldane's Rule has been reserved in many different animals groups, including mammals, birds, reptiles, and insects. There have been several proposed explanations for why this rule holds true. One explanation is that the genes on these sex chromosomes may interact differently with the genes on the other chromosomes in hybrids, leading to reduced fertility or viability in the heterogametic sex. 9. Narluga A narluga is a hybrid between a narwhal and a beluga whale. The first known Narluga was discovered in 1980, when an Inuit subsistence hunter named Jens Larsen killed three of these unusual whales off the coast of Greenland. He was puzzled by their strange appearance, so he kept one of the skulls for scientists to study. Analysis of the skull showed it had characteristics of both narwhals and belugas, leading scientists to conclude that it was a hybrid between the two species. Further genetic analysis confirmed this, showing that the animal had a beluga father and a narwhal mother. Narlugas are thought to be rare, with only a few confirmed sightings. However, their existence shows that interbreeding between different species of whales is possible, and maybe more common than previously thought. Decades after his first sighting, the existence of narlugas was officially confirmed, when scientists were able to sequence the genome of the animal. 8. Jungle Fowl and Domestic Chicken Hybrid Jungle fowls and domestic chickens belong to the same family, Phasianidae, and have a shared evolutionary lineage. Jungle fowls are the wild ancestors of domestic chickens, and their hybridization can sometimes occur due to their genetic similarity. The most common examples of such hybridization is the crossbreeding between the red jungle fowl and domestic chickens. Red jungle fowls are native to regions in Southeast Asia and are considered the primary ancestor of domestic chickens. These wild birds exhibit behaviors and traits that are similar to those seen in domesticated chickens. They have played a significant role in the history of poultry domestication. Hybridization between red jungle fowls and domestic chickens can happen when they come into contact, either in the wild or through human intervention. These hybrids may exhibit a mix of traits from both parent species, including variations in color, size, plumage patterns, and behavior. In regions where domestic chickens are allowed to roam freely, interactions between domesticated and wild birds can lead to interbreeding. However, it's worth noting that the genetic integrity of wild jungle fowl populations can be threatened by such hybridization, potentially diluting the unique genetic traits of wild populations. 
It's important to mention that, while red jungle fowls are the primary ancestors of domestic chickens, other wildfowl species have also contributed to the genetic makeup of domestic chickens through hybridization. This complex interplay of genetics and breeding history has led to the diverse array of chicken breeds seen today. 7. Africanized Bees Africanized bees, often referred to as killer bees, are a hybrid bee population that resulted from the interbreeding of African honeybee species with European honeybees in the Americas. The intention behind this interbreeding was to develop bees that were well adapted to tropical climates and could potentially increase honey production. However, the unintended consequences of this breeding effort led to the creation of highly defensive and aggressive bee colonies, which became known for their swarming behavior and attacks on perceived threats. The story of Africanized bees begins in the mid-20th century, when Brazilian scientists sought to improve honey production and beekeeping practices in their tropical climate. They imported African honeybee subspecies, specifically the Apis mellifera scutellata, which is known for its ability to thrive in warmer environments and the hardiness to resist certain pests and diseases. The African bees were bred with the European honeybees that were already present in the Americas. This interbreeding aimed to combine the favorable traits of both populations, such as the heat tolerance of the African bees and the honey production of the European bees. The intention was to create a hybrid bee that would be well suited for tropical regions while maintaining the desirable aspects of honey production. However, the resulting hybrid bees inherited some of the aggressive defensive behaviors of the African subspecies. These bees were better equipped to defend their hives against predators and threats, but they also exhibited a heightened sensitivity to disturbances. When disturbed, Africanized bee colonies could become highly defensive, swarming en masse to protect their hive. The intended consequence of this interbreeding was the rapid spread of these aggressive traits throughout the bee population. As the Africanized bees mated with existing bee populations, their aggressive tendencies became more prevalent. This led to the emergence of the infamous killer bee reputation, characterized by their hostile response to perceived threats and their tendency to swarm in larger numbers compared to their European counterparts. Africanized bees quickly spread beyond Brazil, moving northward through South and Central America and eventually into parts of the southern United States. Their presence has raised concerns due to the potential risks they pose to people and animals, especially those who may inadvertently disturb their nests or hives. 6. Wolfen A wolfen is a very rare hybrid of a common bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. Although the name suggests a cross between a whale and a dolphin, both species are actually members of the oceanic dolphin family, which is part of the toothed whale suborder. Wolfins have been born both in captivity and in the wild. The first recorded wolfin was born in Tokyo SeaWorld in 1981, but unfortunately died after 200 days. The first wolfin to be born and survive in the United States was Kekai Malu, who was born at Sea Life Park in Hawaii in 1985. Kekai Malu has given birth to three calves, all of which were three-quarters bottlenose dolphin and one-quarter false killer whale. As of March 2020, Kekai Malu and her third calf, Kawili Kai, remain in captivity at Sea Life Park. 5. Hini A hini is a domestic equine hybrid that results from the mating of a male horse, a stallion, and a female donkey, a jenny. It serves as the reciprocal cross to the more common mule, which is produced by mating a male donkey, a jack, with a female horse, a mare. The hinny exhibits distinct characteristics from the mule in terms of both physiology and temperament, influenced by genomic imprinting, and it is also less prevalent. Compared to mules, hinnies tend to be smaller, with shorter ears and a lighter head. They inherit a tasseled tail, similar to that of their donkey mother. The variations in appearance and behavior between hinnies and mules can be attributed in part to genomic imprinting, a facet of epigenetic inheritance. Additionally, despite sharing nuclear genomes, hinnies and mules differ in temperament, which is also believed to be influenced by the action of imprinted genes. 4. Leopon A leopon is a hybrid animal that results from the mating of a male leopard and a female lion. The head of a leopon resembles that of a lion, while the rest of its body has similarities to that of a leopard. These hybrids are typically produced in captivity and are not known to occur in the wild. Leopons are larger than leopards and exhibit physical characteristics from both parent species. They have brown spots, tufted tails, and males may have sparse manes. Leopons are also known to climb like leopards and enjoy water. Male leopons can even have manes like lions. 3. Human-Pig Hybrid Although the 2018 pig-human baby was undoubtedly a hoax, there was in fact a human-pig hybrid experiment conducted a year earlier. 
In 2017, a team of scientists at the Salk Institute in California, led by Juan Carlos Ispesua Belmonte, conducted experiments to create embryos containing both human and pig cells. The aim of this research was to explore early human development and disease onset, provide a platform for realistic drug testing, and potentially grow human cells, tissues, and organs for regenerative medicine. To create these embryos, the researchers injected human stem cells into pig embryos at an early stage of development. Over 2,000 of these hybrid embryos were then transferred to surrogate sows. Of these, more than 150 developed into chimeras, with a small human contribution of about 1 in 10,000 cells. These pig-human embryos were allowed to develop for 28 days, the first trimester of a pig pregnancy, before being removed, meaning no human pig babies have ever been born. While this research has the potential to yield significant benefits, it also raises ethical concerns. For example, there are worries about the creation of animals with human-like intelligence and the possibility of hybrid creatures being released into the wild. As a result, the U.S. National Institutes of Health imposed a moratorium of funding for such experiments while these risks were assessed. 2. Virus Chimera In 2017, a group of researchers from Portugal created a chimera virus by combining genetic material from a mouse virus with a human viral gene. The goal of this experiment was to explore new ways to treat cancer caused by human herpes virus infection. The researchers discovered that when the cancer-causing virus loses a protein called LANA, it also loses its ability to cause cancer. This finding could potentially lead to new treatments for cancer caused by human herpes virus infection. 1. Ear Mouse In 1996, a laboratory mouse with what appeared to be a human ear on its back became a subject of widespread attention. This mouse, known as the Vacanti mouse, was part of an experiment conducted by Charles A. Vacanti at Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School, Linda Griffith at MIT, and Joseph P. Vacanti at Children's Hospital. The ear on the mouse's back was actually a cartilage structure grown by seeding cow cartilage cells into a biodegradable mold shaped like an ear. The mold was implanted under the skin of the mouse, and an external splint was used to maintain the desired shape while the cartilage grew. The splint was briefly removed for publicity photos, which caused controversy. The mouse used in the experiment was a nude mouse, a strain of immunocompromised mouse commonly used to prevent transplant rejection. The photo of the mouse with the ear on its back circulated widely on the internet, leading to speculation about whether it was real or not. In the late 1990s, the picture sparked protests against genetic engineering even though no genetic manipulation had been performed in this experiment. In an interview with Newsweek, Joseph Vacanti joked that the mouse had the ear removed and then lived a happy normal life. However, it is standard practice for laboratory mice to be euthanized after being used in experiments, and the original paper published by the researchers mentioned the state of the mice after sacrifice. Well, that's all we have for today. If you liked today's video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to check out our page and watch more videos as well. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.